In order to be good at what you do, you've got to bring your whole self and your authentic self. I'm Lori Kletzer. I'm the campus provost and executive vice chancellor. And you might wonder what that means. Many people do. All the campuses have a campus provost and executive vice chancellor. What it means is I'm the chief academic officer. You might wonder what that means. It means that everything on the academic side of the house, everything related to teaching and learning, classrooms, faculty, libraries, all reports up to me. I sit between and at the intersection of faculty and administration. I am a member of the faculty. I have been a member of the faculty for many, many, many years. I progressed to this point through the faculty ranks, and now, while I am an administrator, I am also a full active member of the faculty. I'm a labor economist. I came to this campus as a labor economist many, many, many years ago, and I did the teaching and research faculty thing. I did my teaching, I was fully absorbed in my research, and I loved every minute of it. I was being an economist. What had driven me to be an economist had actually started one day when I was an undergraduate, when in my intermediate macroeconomics course, my professor stopped me in the hallway as we were leaving class and said, you know, you should really do economics because you're really good at it. But I really puzzled over what does it mean to do economics? And so I had people around me as an undergraduate and I began talking to them. Those people were faculty members and I began to understand what it meant to do economics. And I learned what it meant to teach economics at the college level. And then I learned from them what it meant to do research. That was the path. And then as my career developed here at Santa Cruz, I moved in some sense somewhat naturally into some leadership positions in the economics department. What I loved the most about being department chair was recruiting faculty to campus and working with them at the start of their careers. And even when I say that today, and I've done this work for years and years and years, it is just so deeply meaningful to me, person by person by person. But I consciously embarked on a second career as an administrator because I saw the difference that I could make in an administrative role. I could be 100% dedicated to recruiting faculty, to recruiting staff, to the organization of the campus, to being a careful and conscientious steward of public money that is the role of the chief budget officer. And to do that work and to do it well meant that I would always have a hand in the career I was about to slightly let go of and embark on a different career, a different way to serve my students, to serve my colleagues. And that's the real joy in it, is the team of people who are here as faculty members, as staff, who make this place what they are. And that's the joy of my job. As a college campus, we are about teaching and learning and service, about the education of our future workforce, our citizenry, our great discoveries will come from the students who progress onto campus and through our programs. To, to be able to make a difference at the highest level in the direction of the campus, in the way we lead this campus in that direction, and then I have all of my students, my faculty colleagues, and my staff colleagues who work together and with me as we take this campus into what is a very bright future. <laughs>